skewer out. They managed to get a skewer back onto Q. Looks like that should be a kill, but the heroes are gonna come in from the side. Nice, two man cogs are gonna set things up. Just the combination wipes out two heroes quite easily. The Winter Wyvern did go down, but it looks like it's gonna cost them three, maybe even four. His spear's gonna be the next target. Bounce back by the ultimate from Garter, and that's gonna be an ultra kill for Shiki to wipe things out. Sumail and Peter, I think, at this point, to, uh, or of course the Darks here with the big plays. He does have a four staff, which is the build of choice versus the Clockwork Rush. Samael is going to be jumped, and this is not a hero they can afford to lose first. They do manage to get the skewer back, but it's Garter. He's still tanky as all hell, and CDC are just going to keep moving forward. They got Universe. He managed to force self himself out of the cogs, but now they're going to Winter's curse him to make sure he does stay down. Two heroes down on the side of EG, and CDC on the retreat. Doesn't look like EG can afford any more aggressive maneuvers. They're just going to go for more farm on RTZ. They saw discipline that we see from CDC and mm -hmm. why they tend to not give up a lead. Whoa, quick RP. They're just going to content themselves with one free pick off and clockwork, it seems, and maybe the deny on that tier two tower. But Peter's actually going to lose his line to aggressive, who advances forward with the remnant. Now Shiki's going to find an additional hero off the Yule Scepter for a staff away. And the light strike array actually misses. They ensure the tier three tower does go down. Now they get the chains on the universe. He turns around, managed to get the vacuum to interrupt Shiki for a second, but the kill still comes out for him beyond godlike by 19 minutes. And then still star PG. As far as late game solutions to anti-mage, I think that's just a farm of Ember Spirit. Okay, here's a nice big off XD. Looks like he's going to be going down. Is there going to be any other like other casualties from EG? Nice RP, but the Yule Scepter actually goes off first from Shiki. They manage to lock down RTZ, and they're going to be able to finish him off with the help of the chains. Now they turn on to Fear, who, as tanky as he is, should be going down nice and quick. EG lose two, and there's the buyback from the Clockwork PPD. Nice out there from him. That was still really close. He chose to buy back there. I mean, it's relatively cheap this early on to the game, but he's now going to be skewered back, and this could be uh, a die back in a way. But there is going to be Vice Forge surrounded. Nice vacuum into the Ice Bath, and the ultimate comes out. Arteezy takes out two, and maybe they can pursue. They need to be able to chase this one out, and they could actually have a bit of a comeback here on EG's hands. They've managed to block up Garter, get the third kill there. Double kill for Arteezy. I think dies without being able to do anything in return. I kind of like this build. Um, we used to see Jakiro's Samael. Oh, he got the 17%. Maybe this is enough damage. Oh my god, another bash. Samael's dead. <laughs> Holy cow. Charge, bash, ultimate, and then another bash. Samael didn't stand a chance against that, but um, we're trying to maximize damage on the side of EG. And that's why Fear's going for the, um, the Veil. Veil Discord rather than the Yule Scepter that we used to see. We used to see a lot of uh, Blink Yules as a great catching mechanism. Oh, Arteezy, don't ruin your score. Gonna, he's, he's getting charged up right now. I don't, it. I don't know if he's gonna... He doesn't have a TP up. This could be bad. Peter's kind of smoked around, but there's three heroes here. Yeah. Oh, PPD, you've got to stop this one. The charge is going to be able to complete. He stops the follow-up, though. RTZ is going to be Winter's Curse, though, and that's the nail in the coffin, I think, for RTZ. He will go down. CDC will get the additional kill on a PPD, obviously. And with no... Kind of like last game, it's like, okay, we're losing, but we're just going to keep throwing bodies and bodies and bodies until we win the fight because we're that confident in our fighting abilities. So. PPD, they were hoping to be able to rotate into Roshan. He does kind of stall up aggressively. At the same time, farther up, the fight goes on. They charge on through. Samael managed to, uh, he got the skewer, but can't get off the RP on anybody there. XZ, well, he holds in the fire, but it doesn't seem to matter. The mech will keep him alive. Fear will go down. And that just leaves our Dark Seer, which Aggressive does manage to kill as well. EG, I mean, if game one was fight on your own terms so they went for that you know 15,000 network fight instead of like a 25,000 high ground fight and RTZ. And the hook shot managed to stop him the fourth step away. Nope. There's a final right click out from Shiki. He's got no buyback. Forward, trying to get another one off the old scepter. He's got the light striker ready to stop some mail. Actually misses that one. He managed to get the skewer back, which also brings the spirit breaker with the ultimate. He managed to get off the RP, but there's not a whole lot of follow up. No, they actually managed to get the vacuum through man vacuum while they take away that Aegis. And the rest of CDEC are dropping a bit low. Garter looks like he may go down. Universe pursues out on him. Clockwork take it down to the tower. Ice Bath just barely managed to stop him there. And it's going to be Shiki right in the middle of this base, backing up with aggressive and Q. They're gonna geniuses, making sure they mount the largest possible advantage that they can. Arteezy, 
Well, he's taking a lot of damage from this Daedalus. With the charge coming in, they may actually be able to finish him off. They've still got the ultimate from Garter. Throws it out now. And, yep, another pick off on Arteezy. Again, he still has buyback, but CDC may actually force that this time around. And they're going to jump in. Hulkshot actually kind of misses out there. And they managed to get the two-man RP over the wall. With the Winter's Curse on the side, Q might manage to actually save those two heroes thanks to that control. So Mail managed to force staff himself out back and gets laid out once again inside the cogs this time around. And the ultimate from Arteezy isn't enough to finish off these heroes. Garner will go down, but looks like a blink out from Lena will be able to survive. Back out, Universe is very low. It's going to die to another sleight of fist if he's not careful. I don't know he how Lena was that full mana that entire time. She didn't. He wants to pop their smoke. Like if they're right. smoked, he, he, he blinks in his lights. He pops every single smoke, uh, every single hero that's smoked in that vicinity. So that's, you know, it's a good move by him. He has reasons for doing that. I can going into I the T4s. <laughs> Unlike some people. <laughs> You just can't help yourself sometimes, <laughs> can you, really? I really can't. Gotta fire those shots. All right, Gardner. Oh, the vacuum. That was a good one with a four-man vacuum over the top. Oh, the RP doesn't actually get laid out enough to be able to control CDC. They're fighting back as Gracie pushes forward and will hunt down the male. One, two, and he's gone farther up. It looks like Arteezy is still going to be fighting now. Charge on the universe is going to be able to push him and stop that TP. And Arteezy actually tries to go on a Gracie, but the ultimate isn't enough. And CDC now keep on going. They're going to now turn towards Arteezy with the hook shot and the cog pushback. They'll control him enough, it'll die another time. They don't have an RP, and without their uh, anti-mates, there's just no chance of EG being able to fight this one out. A frenetic team fight, but it all goes to CDC, who don't drop a single hero in that fight. Wow, what if they had RP'd after that four-man vacuum? Uh, I don't yeah. know if they would have had enough damage, but it would have been it would have been cool. Yeah, it would have been uh, pretty insane.